Ah, uh, no, that's YouTube music. That's not real YouTube. Uh, I'm live. Tell me where I'm live. Do it. Come on, YouTube. I'm live. You know this. You know this to be true. Join me. Uh, there we go. Perfect. I'm back. All right. Vroomba. All right. So this little guy needs to detect in front of him whether or not he is presently bumping into a wall. So. Oh, I don't need Discord open. Heck, I don't even need Steam open at the moment. So, let's see. Let's put a little sphere cast in front of him, actually, instead of just a normal ray cast. Might be a bit more consistent. Um, and we only want to do this while he is in the standard move forward script. Uh, get this ironed out. Uh, this wants me to do an inverted one, but that's not, yeah, whatever. All right, if case zero, forward. If case one, rotate. Okay, so let's just make sure that this much works. Uh, actually, if... It, is active return that way we actually have an implementation of that uh, we're not even using movement speed at the moment which is fine all right you them a Roomba all right, no ray casting at the moment. We're just gonna make sure that I can manually enable uh, active and not active. Wait a minute, this is doing its own thing. You're not allowed to do your own thing. Does that mean it didn't compile? That probably means it didn't compile at first. Ah, I thought I fixed those settings. Project settings, Uno Sharp. Auto compile, yep. Listen for client exception. I don't know what that means. I'll ignore that. Wait, it shouldn't have done anything earlier. <laughs> Oh yeah, that really didn't compile. Not perfect. Alright, hide rigid body so I don't have to hide my face. Nice. All right, so three seconds is definitely far too long. Uh, this also doesn't need nearly this much torque. So we'll divide this by five. Actually, we'll just do two for now. Oh, it's combined, <laughs> right. Okay. So, rotate timer, 
will default you to be 1.5 seconds. Uh, yeah, 1.5. F, F, four seconds. Uh, yeah. All right, so. Should be just a. I feel like I'm going in circles, but this guy's doing more circles than me, so let's see. On collision enter. Uh, state equals one. Just a quick rotation. Because I know earlier this fired whenever he landed on the ground, but. We we're also having a lot of other issues and theoretically if he moves once when he hits the ground that should be fine That's, that's not your forward. Why are you, how is this deciding which way to go? All right, so yeah, there's a few things going on here. So rotate this. Yeah, rotate timer as one and a half seconds is still far too long. So we'll do point seven five. So all we really have to do is why is this? Hmm. Is forward already relative and add force forward is just breaking it? Add relative velocity, then that's what I mean. Because this forward might not always be <laughs> the same thing. Yeah, I probably should follow that one a bit ago. Alright, that is definitely forward. Hmm, hugging the walls. Oh, I know. Instead of going only a little bit, we will make it rotate for one second. Oh, one F. I will always say the right thing and type the wrong thing, or say the wrong thing and type the right thing. I cannot speak and type. <laughs> All right, so this should allow it to turn out of the way. Yeah. 
Actually, uh, if is active, return. Uh, so this way, if it is not presently running, it will not buffer a rotation. Um, if it is presently turning, okay, so this will be or state equals one. So this will be if it's off or if it's rotating, it won't set itself to be rotating. One second of rotation might actually still be a little bit more than it needs to be. But if we can get this thing to rotate like 120 degrees on the collision I think we got something well that was more rotation than I expected it to have but oh this is I guess that wasn't updating. Here, let's just find that one. There we go. You're not compiling. Man, I don't understand why, but sometimes it just doesn't compile. Let's uh, go. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, I think we've got a Roomba. I mean, I think we've got a Vroomba. Haha. -ha. Alright, let's just make sure it's uh, rotation is enough to have a non-consistent path. Hmm. All right, so it gets stuck in corners sometimes. It, it's not the smartest thing at the moment. Uh, so let's see, what can we do? Uh, let's see, the biggest issue that this is running into at the moment is that when it bonks, sometimes it won't rotate enough to get off of the wall. So... It needs to detect whether or not it is still colliding with the wall after. No, because that would be dumb. Okay. Because then it would think, oh, I'm the wall. The floor is a wall. How, how do I know that? Uh. Let's see here. Actually, that's a good question. Does having a object be a child of this? And get included in its collisions. Oop, now I need a sphere. Uh, all right, actually, let's. All we need now is a cat with a shark onesie. Oh, God. <laughs> 
uh, freeze rotation on all but Y. All right, so basically, I want to see if whether or not hitting the ground with this child collider counts as a state increment. I believe that child colliders work for on enter triggers or on enter colliders. Uh, oh, wait. Of course, it didn't work. It's not active. Uh, all right, you're active now. Ooh, doesn't seem to have. Doesn't seem to be doing anything, really. Oh, I froze wide rotation. <laughs> Oops. Yep, I was wrong. Yep, it buffers still. I do like it kind of hovering like that, though. Hmm. I'll probably, incom I'll probably think about that when I actually set up its model. Have it slightly hover above the ground. Similar idea prior to Udon using animations. Plus Michael Reeves screaming group. Wait a minute. Michael Michael Reeves screaming Roomba noises. <laughs> I feel like I missed something. Um, <laughs> uh, glad you've been uh, enjoying the tutorials. Um, Michael Reeves screaming room. I... I'm going to need context as to whatever that one meant. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, actually, I kind of like how this looks, so I'll leave it for now. Um, I could... Oh, wait, no, that's not even how that's working. Um, I was doing a raycast earlier. But for some reason, the raycast really hated me. <laughs> Oop, forgot to do a if other equals null return there we go otherwise that kills everything all right forward force How can we make our legally distinct Vroomba not get stuck in corners? It's a YouTube channel dedicated to building funny robots in response to comments. <laughs> he built a... That sounds amazing. And I could 100% do that. Um... Uh, all right, so, okay, so while it's moving, I need to do, oh, God, okay, while it's moving, I need to detect if it's movements, no, no, that's dumb. So voice involved, Lily Peach, yep, okay, of course. Oh, Michael Reeves. Oh, my God. I entirely blanked on him. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Taser. Yeah, I know that guy. I mean, not personally. I know of him. <laughs> oh, God. Of course he would do that. Ah. 
I thought I fixed that. Is it? Oh, it's still mono. How do I fix this? Uh, but, uh, happy to, uh, give your left ear some love, uh, Akka. Um, <laughs> how, how did I fix this before? See, if I had a different monitor, uh, actually I could just hide the display capture. Um, okay. Yeah. I had asked earlier, and the person had just a speaker, and they were like, uh, I don't know if it's mono or not. So I was like, eh, I'll ignore it for now. Um, it is not intended to be that way. <laughs> uh, I can set all audi audio to be it's mono. Mic aux settings and then switch channels. Move. Do I just need to set it for my microphone itself? It's not an OBS thing. Is that how I fix this? I had a bunch of like settings and stuff reset the other day and literally everything. I don't know what happened. Uh, system setting. No, system sounds. Why did they make it so hard to get to uh why did they make it so hard to get to your like playback and recording stuff now? Two channel Here we go. Device is being used by another application. If you continue, the application may stop working. Alright. Uh, hey, okay, OBS says it's working, and my mouth is moving again. Uh, hey, here we go. Yeah, my computer itself thought that my mic was dual mode, so just had to do it that way. Uh, all right, where were we? Uh, left ear, Michael Reeves, Roomba. Uh, no, no, Vroomba. There we go. Uh, hey, glad it's working. All right, Vroomba. Let's see this. Active kinematic. Ooh. Maybe. Oh, I know. Instead of rotating by torque, because uh, if I do that, it'll just be like, if it's colliding, it will have friction. So it won't rotate perfectly all the time. So I just need to actually physically rotate it. Transform that rotation. Times oh. times equals transform dot rotation. Uh. <sighs> okay. So this may be incredibly hypocritical, but. Uh, getting started with Udon. Where is the Rotate Cube tutorial? Uh, I have to actually watch the video, don't I? Spinning Cube example series. Uh, input info, public review. All right, let's pretend it's in here. I just need to know, like, what they're using 
Uh, custom event, uh, no object. Uh, none of that's right. Um, rotate, multiply, axis one. Okay. I'll clean the bottom of my mouth and go and over again and those videos again. Yeah. Uh, my problem with rotations is that I do not understand quaternions in the slightest. <laughs> so whenever I try to modify a rotation, it's just like, I, I just look like the dumbest person in the world. All right. Uh... Okay, quaternion Euler. I don't think this is actually what I need to do, but I'm going to pretend it's what I need to do until I see something wrong happen, which will inevitably happen because it's wrong. In fact, it's so wrong that, oh, I just didn't compile. Everything's fine. Now, if this guy spaz this out, then we'll know we're doing something right. Uh, kinematic and active. Do it. Do it. Hit the wall. Do it. Yep. Uh, I've I've made this exact code a million times, but I just do not know it. All right. Well, we'll claim that this is it. I know this isn't the part of that that was supposed to be right, but all right, let's see if this works. <laughs> yeah, most of what I do for like my tutorials and stuff is. I spend like two hours or sometimes four or something trying to be like, okay, does this actually work? Does this not work? Until I find like the most broken down, the most like shortened, like cleaned up setup for uh, showing things off. Like my first tutorial is like my one of my longest tutorials just because I did it essentially live. Uh but now I actually find, uh, figure out how to get it like all cleaned up and everything. And then I tell you how to do it. This guy, uh, it's not the smartest robot. Uh, Ooh, let's rotate around. Wait, just give me the scripting API. Rotates the object to about axis passing through point. I don't like that. I uh, just open this on YouTube. Oh, look, I'm live. <laughs> uh, transform.rotate. 
I'm just trying to figure out how to send it this axis. Because, like, this is the one thing that's hard for me continually going back and forth between nodes of the likes. Uh, because you VR chat doesn't consistently name their nodes the way that they are in here uh, the way that they are in C sharp uh, for example okay this is actually an issue with triggers um, in uh, the triggers setup if you were to do uh, on trigger enter, it would instead be called on enter trigger. And since I started with uh, like VRC triggers before I really got to know C sharp, um, I always typed on enter trigger instead of on trigger enter. And I was just like, this isn't working. And it's yelling at me, what is happening? <laughs> Transform to up oh, one F. Okay, transform.rotate, it should rotate along the up axis and one angle every second, second, uh, every frame. So we're going to have to modify that. Uh, actually, we'll just set the rotate timer to be one. Yep, it's already that. Actually, clean some of this up. I don't need wall collisions or movement speed anymore. I don't use those. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you don't need to start kinematic anymore. Oop. Let me edit. Let me edit. There we go. Uh, and, oop. Force compiled because it hasn't been consistent. We'll hit play. I'll get some water. Ah, excuse me. Uh, is active. Do it. Do it. Go. Hit the wall. Do it. Crash. It's beautiful. I do like that rotation mode, though. Uh, it bypasses uh, the need for uh, drag, res uh, drag against it. So I'm going to extend the time on that. Um, actually, right? Okay. So if rotate timer is greater than that and rotate timer is less than, well, is greater than 1.5 f okay so that way it'll hit the wall and think oh i have to turn and then it will start turning uh theoretically that is that is the hopes and that is the dream uh let me just refresh YouTube on my phone so that I can know if people are messaging or not. It hasn't been incredibly consistent at showing my chat. In fact, I went the whole first stream I did thinking that nobody was chatting despite people were and everyone was like, oh, he doesn't have he doesn't have chat open. Or, he, he doesn't care about us. It's like, no, I'm just bad. <laughs> Do it. Hmm.
Oh, I'm an idiot. This counting... Uh, needs to be here. There we go. The first check wasn't doing anything. It was just breaking everything. Hide the rigid body. Don't need that at the moment. Should definitely make the room a scream of pain if it's a lot. Uh, what I'll do is I'll have a. Oh, that's not right. Uh, what I will do is I will have uh, a setup so that uh, you can put your own audio clips into it, and it'll have like a little physics clunk when it hits something. And if you want it to be, like, someone screaming, then <laughs> you can use those sound effects. Uh, if I were to record myself screaming, I feel like that would not be ideal for the headphone users on stream. So, <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see on that one. Uh, okay. All right, build 563. Let's go. Bum bum, bada bum bum, bum bum, bada bum bum, pa bum, bada bum bum, bonk. Does it? perfectly rotate 90 degrees oh my god because a second is 60 and i have it as a second and a half so it's 90 it's perfectly rotating 90 degrees oh god all right i want it to go let's do some math here i want it to what would be a good amount of rotation at any corner? What do you guys think? If this guy were to hit a corner, how much do you think he should rotate uh, when that happens? Uh, should it hit the wall and rotate like 120 so that he starts going at an angle away? I want him to have like the most uh, random movement away from the walls and stuff so that he'll bounce around like a random hockey puck. I could just actually make the amount of time random. Um, hmm. I could do that actually. Okay. M math f dot ran random dot randomized version of 30 uh that's what i was thinking i do want it to have a minimum of 90 degree rotation though uh because otherwise if he doesn't get away from the wall he'll just kind of slide against it until he hits another type of wall uh, so let me open up my impact system because I used a random in that so I can just reference what I did there. Uh, random dot range. That's it. I couldn't remember the simplest things. Uh, and we will set this to be between 2.1 and 
2.5F. And I need to delete using system because that breaks a lot of things. And actually, I don't even need using random. All right. Let it get stuck and cry for help. <laughs> help me. Oh, God. This is going to be the most high maintenance uh, Roomba, oh, Roomba that you've ever witnessed. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we're just creating something for, to suffer. <laughs> this poor thing. All right, it's not much more than 90 degrees. <laughs> um, here, 2.5 and 3. <laughs> Gears and tears. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Brought to you by Gears and Tears Industries. <laughs> the Roomba that takes more management than a human child. The Vroomba. Man, it is... What's going on here? Cause it seems like it's rotating the same amount every time. Furious whining noises. It's going to be like It'll have like one of those horrible TV trailers where you just like, th there's just no reason for anyone to purchase it. But it's obvious that like the team behind it was like, this is my life passion. <laughs> oh, God. All I need you to do is rotate more than 90 degrees. I'm an idiot. I figured it out. <laughs> oh, God. I'm never changing the minimum count timer. Okay. If rotate timer is greater than... Well, if rotate timer is less than or equal to... Uh... Um, I 
Okay, actually, I've got it. This rotate timer will always be three, and this will be random.range. It needs to stop autofilling system and random because these things just break it on. Random range. Where'd the A come from? All right. All right, we're back in it, lads. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. All right, minimum time needs to be increased. A lot. <laughs> okay. All right. Four, four seconds feels like a long time. Let's check this collision. <sighs> I feel like I'm just not doing something right. between three and four should give it at least a 120 degree rotation and at max a 180 degree rotation. However, I'm bad at math, so all of that could be false. <laughs> All right, we got our boy. He's going, he's going. Look at him go. Bonk. Well, that's over 180, but it, it's a start. <laughs> oh, this could be weird. You know, this might actually work. This could be all that we need. It would be these collisions that get weird though. Whether or not they can actually escape the wall. Actually, this seems to be working pretty well. Ooh, just bonked my mic. Yeah. I think we can call this a Roomba success. 
And if it does anything weird, we'll just say, ah, it's his personality. All right. Uh, let's get this guy an actual model instead of just being round boy. All right. Let's get a blender open here. All right, cylinder. Innovation that excites Vroomba. <laughs> oh my God, I thought of, I thought of the VR Vroomba joke earlier today, and I was like, this is the dumbest thing I have ever thought of in my life. If I somehow continue on without making this joke. I will not forgive myself. And here I am making a Vroomba. Uh, let's do Shade Smooth. Get our normals to Auto Smooth. There we go. Alright, let's see here. First of all, we're going to fix this. Uh... Actually, we'll fix that when we're fully done. Uh, let's see. Just trying to think of a good shape for a Roomba. Kind of a soft outside. Uh, do I have a main world yet where you constantly throw your latest creation info? Uh, it would be funny to pop it in again and see the wackiness. Um, I really don't have <laughs> any actual worlds that I like keep updated or anything. I, all of my stuff is like, oh, can I make this thing work? And then I have like, eight different test worlds and I never get things ironed out. Uh, there's a few worlds that I've posted in the past that have been like, Hey, this is less of a test and more of an actual thing. But like I had a, uh, a small breath of wild world a while back that nobody liked because I had motion blur on by default, which was a horrible idea. Uh, you could press B to turn it off, but I did not write that anywhere in the world. <laughs> um, I do need to get, like, some kind of just environment. Uh, let's see here. What's forward? There we go. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, extrude face normals in. All right. We go. Actually, we'll put this all on one material in, uh, and do everything in Substance Painter. Uh, I do need that geometry to be there, though, so. Uh, yeah, all I need is that inset section. Um, actually, oh, wait a minute. Cleaning robot. Uh, Sci-fi. Let's just get a bit of 
fancy inspiration from something. Ah, that's a lot of Wally. Should have expected. Um. Hmm. The I life. Uh, okay, so what, we're, what I'm seeing right now is a lot of separated segments of this. So I can do that. I can have, like, chassis parts. If I can manage to click in the right places. Actually, for right now... Yeah, it, I don't use it anymore. There was a while where having motion sickness, motion sickness, where having motion blur on uh, was helping me with motion sickness. So I was just using it in all the worlds that I was using. But yeah, don't. <laughs> oh, I didn't do it to the bottom. Uh, wait a minute, I don't have my visual settings on. Uh, here we go. Shadow cavity. There we go. All right. What was I doing? Oh, right. Uh, wireframe, box select, Complete faces, and we're just going to give this a mirror modifier for right now. There we go. I need to change my presets for Blender. I somehow didn't manage to uh, cross them over from the last update. Probably because I'm big dumb. What is this rotation? Actually, how is this deciding what... Here, just give me the normal. There we go. Y, X... There we go. That's what I needed. Give this some details here and there. Actually, let me just select this one in here. Uh, 
and virtually remember the goal in the party. Yeah, it does. It's not ideal. Gonna have to figure out where you can cut corners a lot of times. Fortunately, this guy isn't going to be the most complicated mesh in the world. Uh, right now, we only have him at uh, like 900 faces. So, he's not going to be too intensive. He's going to be very emotionally compromised, however. Hmm. Shift I, no, Alt I. No. Oh, nope. One of these uh, does a different, uh, a different inset setting. Oh, I know what it is. Uh, this needs to be changed to individual origins. Or not. Hmm, still not what I'm looking for. Oh well, I can just do this manually. Oh, I should do that on all of it. Actually, ah, uh, that does look worse the closer you get. Oh, it it undefaulted. Okay, that's what happened. Normally I don't like uh, fixing the uh, end guns until later on because when I pinch them like this for cylinders it makes uh, row selection rather difficult. Uh, let's see, what else can we do for this guy?
Eh, maybe that'll look smoother when it's not mirrored. What's, what's with these shadows? That's not right. Well, four blender kills me, or kills itself. Uh, let's just save this. Uh, I need to get the file path for this, because otherwise it's going to be a literal hour before I can figure out this. in the shadows yeah I wonder what's going on there oh well, it's just it's obviously just a blender rendering issue Night Rider themed light bar where it goes left and right ooh that would have to be uh, done with shaders and I unfortunately do not understand shaders. <laughs> um, I like the idea, though. And if you are someone who knows how to do shaders... <laughs> um, uh, let's see here. This needs to go back to normal. It looks sci-fi-y. Alright, this bottom, however, is looking pretty bland. We're not going to see it much. But the fact that it's here... Hmm... That's not scaling right. Uh, I think I'm done, so I can just apply that. Now I can select this whole thing correctly. Uh, there's a shortcut for lasso select, but I don't know what it is. Oh well. That works. <laughs> I'm starting to realize that uh, my friend uh, Centauri may have a few questions as uh, their character is basically just a robot with a Roomba head. So... See selection tool grab. Oh, okay. There's so many shortcuts in this freaking thing. Uh, oh, how do I get out of it? How do I escape C? Oh, I just okay, right click. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> I, I, I panic easily. <laughs> Uh, 
There we go. Give him a wide rear. Oh. I'm going to face that route. Ah. Nice. Alright, so this back we're going to have as like a perforated vent. Uh, this center will be a light strip. I didn't even think about that. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, it's still going to be a vent. However, now, now I have to think about it like that. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. You can't have a robot without an antenna. Alright, you'll just have eight. I'll give you a here. Oh, oh, rotation. Uh, local. Uh, what? Oh, there we go. Z. Yeah, kind of does. So in that case, we need to do some things to make it look less like the Millennium Falcon. Because... This is legally distinct. Can you add dynamic bone to the antenna? Uh, yes, I can. Um, the question is, should I? <laughs> However, I am never the person to ask, should I, instead of can I? So that is definitely now going to happen. Um, here. Let's do a all right how much wiggle should this have should this just be one bone I'm kind of thinking for performance wise it should be one bone uh, maybe I'll give it a little nub at the end and that can rotate as well uh, actually let's hide this for the moment and let me actually just finish making the antenna Uh, auto smooth, let's set this to 50. <laughs> How did I allow this offset to happen? Oh well. Oh, I'm in scale. Apply. Okay. Where's that armature? There we go. Get over here. Oh. Well, 
What? Zoomed in past. Uh, and uh, because I'm lazy, <laughs> let's just use cats on this. <laughs> Rotate it here and we'll rotate it here. Uh, actually, I'll let people decide how performant they want this to be. And if you don't want that have bones, you can just pose it. Perfect. Uh, I will have this as a separate model, though, because uh, I don't want to have a mesh renderer for this guy. Uh, a skinned mesh renderer for him. So... Just to keep performance up, I'll use uh, a normal mesh renderer. Apply position. There we go. Now it's not weird. Oh, wait, it's still weird. There we go. Not weird. There we go. All right, so we got our body. We got some buttons or ports, who knows? Some insets. Uh, rear vent. <laughs> uh, it's swivel base. And a fancy top front visor-esque thing. Uh, Centauri is going to be confused. So confused. Um, let's see. Anything else you guys think I should throw on this guy? And don't be like, oh, I'll put a chair on him. <laughs> if I put a chair on him, it would be impossible to pick up. <laughs> uh... Also, I'm in Blender, so something else. Let's see here. The shadows are still here. Whatever. Wait a minute. Actually, that's a good point. Uh, I should see if... Oh, yep. Everything's oriented the right way. I think. Yeah, true. All right, let's move this up. Uh, There we go. Apply all. Roomba. And 
antenna. All right, let's get this guy uh, ready to be textured. The great thing about uh, modeling tech is that you don't have to worry about seams looking funky on UVs because it just natively looks like it should be there. Most of the time. Sometimes you can make it look dumb. You're still an end gun. So that means we got one down here. We're never actually going to have to worry about you, so we can just delete it. Did I white paint? Oh, I just did automatic white painting. Uh, I guess. I guess I could make it. Uh, a bit stricter since it's robot parts. Uh, oh, nope. I am what you might consider really bad at weight painting, though. Mostly because I don't fully understand it. I never, okay. Yeah, I never actually learned how to weight paint. <laughs> yeah. Mock me. <laughs> Uh, in fact, a lot of times I struggle to get out of the white painting menu. <laughs> uh, yeah, right now I just have it uh, wiggle around. Uh, actually, since the geometry is so simple, it's pretty much all we needed anyway. Yeah, probably the main reason I stopped doing avatars like a year and a half ago I couldn't figure out weight painting <laughs> probably should have just asked or looked into it or probably done anything let's be honest but uh, uh, let's do a quick unwrap see what are you guys oh this is the visor did this oh okay those didn't get marked oh I guess just that one didn't get marked oh Christ <laughs> All right, this may look a bit weird, but that's fine. You take advantage of bone constraints in unity to provide more robotic and nature mode. That is true. There's a lot of things I could do. In fact, there's one thing I might actually do. Let me just see here quick. <laughs> oh, I'm liking how that looks. All right, yeah, I can, I can handle that in Unity just fine. But I do need to uh, unwrap you. Actually, you seem to have handled yourself quite handily. 
but I'm going to call that better. Uh, seven, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have actually never touched constraints because uh, I was like, oh, they're an avatar thing. And they're brand new. So I'll probably ask like Sentinel about it at some point because he basically just builds avatars out of constraints at this point. Uh, all right. Let's get everything's materials named right. Uh, so I'll call this uh, Vroomba Base. And we'll call you Vroom Antenna. Because I'm a horrible person. <laughs> All right, save that. And All right. We got these two in here. So these to generate light maps, despite the fact that we're never going to bake a scene with these guys in it. Ding, ding, ding. I'll just have to rotate them 180. That's fine. Uh, all right. Let's get some substance paint around this. Now we can stare at the, this guy's face for about 30 seconds while it boots up. I accidentally had substance painter open a while ago when I booted up VR chat. Believe me, that was that was a mistake. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Robot. Yep. <laughs> All right. New select. Uh, is that still buffered? Ooh, it is. I uh, don't quite need it to be that high. I could just give this guy like 4K textures. <laughs> just like the shiniest poor little thing. Uh, okay, for now I am actually going to close my little dude. Uh, actually, just disable always foreground. Because uh, I need a few of these settings. <laughs> uh, I'm... Oh, God. Swapping between Unity, Blender... And substance painter is horrible because all of the controls are different. <laughs> Every single one. Whoops, 2K. There we go. Don't need IDs. Eight K texture. Let's do it. Let's make some real science. Uh, hmm. I wonder what this is all about. Ah, this is what that's all about. Ah, there we are. All right, let's fix this quick. Uh, happened to my camera
Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, that's we have to limit materials to green orange. Okay. Yeah. Events. B basically, you can get away with a lot in VR chat until you have five people in an instance. <laughs> in other words, you can't get away with a lot. <laughs> can I just. Yeah, I can loop this one. I have to manually do this one. There we go. Island select. That's not island select. That is. Are you oh you guys who got squished from uh Actually, are you just one face? I have snapping on. Oh, I do have snapping on. Okay. It's seventy seven a month ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god. I am I'm at the uh uh world hop uh the development world hop thing where people show off their worlds a lot and it is not rare for that to get just really really dumb it was all right for a while when we were on uh the beta because no one wanted to join because we were on the beta so we would have nice short numbers but, yeah. I hate what I'm doing right now. It's just dumb. Get on X and move. Down. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh, ooh, oh, ooh. Ooh. oh, there we go. Perfect. Everything's moved, everything's adjusted. Unwrap. That ain't right. Well, that really isn't right. Is that it, though? Is that the end of my worries? Oh, 
this is an entirely different experience when you're inside the Vroomba. <laughs> Oh, there we go. This is looking a bit more reasonable. This actually kind of looks like a helmet. Okay, this, this we can work with. Go into Unity so it will refresh in here. Yeah, I'm just kind of lazy. It's the problem. Actually, no, I can't let this slide. Just come on, select. How did is it still? Why are you still an issue? Fine, I'll just seam you like seam you emulator. Uh, no one would know, and it would be a funny gag. Uh, could screw it up. Oh, true. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to invert it to make sure that... What is going on here? Another one. All right. What in God's name have I done? <laughs> All right. Marking the seam was uh, not the solution, it turns out. Uh, unmark. Uh, I'm having a dumb, uh, how on earth do you unmark a scene? Oh, you right click. Can that not be in like any search menu? Yeah, but smart UV project is too smart for me. <laughs> oh god. Maybe it's not. What am I even looking at here?
that's how that works. Oh well, good enough. I'm calling it right now. Good enough. That's it. We're done. Applying everything. I'm exporting. You see that? You can't stop me. Save. Yep. We're done. In fact, we're so done. I'm closing Unity. Blunder. <laughs> we're not closing Unity yet. Uh... Uh, there we go. Oh god, the controls are different. Why can't there be like an evil council of like all like three D graphics programs that they get together and be like, all right, these are gonna be our standard controls. Uh, all right, let's, uh, I was trying, I'm trying to think what colors I had envisioned for this guy before. I think I was thinking kind of a white plaster with some dark, rough gray metal and some light blue accents uh, let's start with the kind of plaster uh, plastic I thought there was like a plaster in here let's see what can I change easily into plaster Creature tongue? Ew, no. <laughs> Can't believe I even considered that. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. This is actually what we want. Alright. Oh, oh there we go. We're, we're back back in the game this actually isn't what I wanted so it was a big waste of time uh, so let's accent this with some steel metal actually let's do plastic armor glossy instead and then just change that to be white Okay, yep. Now, let's do... What's a good steel for this? Steel dark, steel stained. Alright, let's do that. Steel dark, and you will get a... Black mask. Polygon fill.
I'm a little bit new to substance, so a few things are probably going to go slower than they would if they were done by somebody else. Oh, I absolutely love Substance Painter. I've, I've only had it for a little while. Uh, I actually got it for a class of mine. And it's like, wow, this is amazing. I wish it lagged a bit less. And I also wish that uh, it would uh, actually work with my monitor scaling. Because I think I'm at like uh, 150 scaling on a 4K monitor. And it's a bit more spacious here because it doesn't actually abide by 150 it only goes to uh, 100 or 200 so typically making worlds too if you want to wrap your world in smart UV project support probably better let me ah uh, yeah um, I unfortunately have lived a long life as uh, a sociopath also known as someone who uses pro builder um I've been moving more to Blender, but uh, since ProBuilder works very similar to how Hammer does, I've been uh, continuing to use it for the portal project stuff. Uh, here. Let's just start with Glass Visor, and we'll black that for this. Um... Oh, that's not what I want. Uh, new fill. Actually, can I just put that on the base? Yeah. Or maybe that doesn't do anything. Big sad. Or maybe it's just because that layer is there. All right. Take two. Yep, there we go. I'll have the only slight so that we can actually keep working with that. You don't really need that emission layer.
<sighs> Apologies at the moment, I don't have much insightful commentary. Uh, it's a lot of clicking, then unclicking. Uh... Dark Steel, page 44. Where is this? I'm not sure I'm liking how that looks. Hmm. Let's try something else for that. If. There we go. Am I just in a loop? What's going on here? For some reason I thought that it literally just played, but I guess I am looping a uh, one hour video, so eventually I will hear the same thing. What did I do here? Oh. How did I manage that? Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> uh, is there a way to polygon empty? I'm gonna assume that's it. Yeah! Take that science. Oops. Dude, what are <sighs> I'll never remember the controls for this program I love it but I have no idea how to move around in it actually can I just make this whole segment how do I yeah I'm just gonna make this whole segment white I 
again, I'm not huge on the, how this is coming out. I think, I think the dark is just dark. I think that's what it is. Oh, what I click. Oh. <sighs> Wish I knew how Substance Painter worked. <laughs> Uh, let's see, this is using metal. Uh, hmm. How do, how do you do? God, I feel you on that one. <laughs> C-sharp can be amazing, but sometimes you just feel like you are the dumbest person in the world. Uh, here. What am I looking at here? This is the portal wiki. This has like an HD version of this, right? There we are. Oop. There we go. Alright. Let's get some uh, modest inspiration. Implementing interactable buttons and the pliers are being shown to the client on the hands. What? On the hands? I don't know what that means. Give myself a bit more space here. All right, so yeah, the, the black is definitely not nearly as black as I have it here. Um, uh, how does make change? I think like that. All right, let's get a bit lighter. Ooh. Okay. Oh, you're saying you want to set that up. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. 
Okay, I thought I thought for some reason you were trying to do a normal button and it was always outlining your hand. <laughs> You see, doing that, you just have uh, uh, a player API, uh, like you would for like getting the player's position, and you would have a tiny sphere that constantly moves its position and rotation to uh, uh, get bone position, and then you do like tracking data type bone left finger index or something like that if I actually had uh, yeah if I actually had a uh, unity open or something I'd check for you uh, I believe the figure does not have some invisible check oh nice The more I look at this turret, the more it looks like something out of TF2. <laughs> Just, I think I think the TF2 people must have textured this one. The more I look at the insides. That's not symmetrical. This also isn't looking good at all. You know what? Scratch this. It's time to start from scratch. All right. This one will be quick, dirty, and clean. Cobalt damaged. How do you look? Uh, kind of bad. All right. Chrome, blue, tint. How do you look? Like a frying pan. No, thank you. Steel, painted, rough, damaged. This guy's bumped into a few walls. Oh, this looks like an Imperial uh, robot. <laughs> Star Wars or something. Uh, sometimes I'll eventually get to making buttons. I remember back to one of my old. No clue how to do that yet. Um, I was considering doing a, uh, short tutorial on making finger tracking buttons, but I thought, you know, maybe f like f a fourth video on buttons might be a bit much. <laughs> so I was kind of holding off on it. So this perspective.
How, how does that happen? How did that happen? How did... What happened? <laughs> how to get everywhere? <laughs> Kind of like it on the dome, though. What? Uh. Sometimes it just goes through these textures. I need to just, I need to just texture paint over there. Say that I just instantly start texture painting back over there again. I'll get used to this program eventually. Today, let's be honest, not that day.
Oh, oh, auto save. Thought I crashed. Uh, what is I'm glad you guys have things to talk about because I am not used to using this thing. I definitely want this guy to have some all, all right textures. <laughs> Why does this keep going through the thing? Whatever. All right. Let's just have a click. Mesh fill, polygon fill, triangle fill. Just start randomly filling things. See what happens.
Alright, so here's the problem with not paying attention when something bakes your UVs. Uh, you don't know where they are. <laughs> okay, so that helps. Um, There is some kind of synthetic material that has a, ooh, here we go. Perfect. All right, now let's change you. You do not need to be as largely hexagon, so we'll make you, oh, that's the wrong one. Hexagon pattern. Can I, hmm. Whoops, just <laughs> just punched my microphone. 
Why can't I get uh, this? I want these hexagons smaller. Or maybe I don't want hexagons. Uh, yeah, screw it. All right, we're good for now. Oh, we're not good. Ah! <laughs> uh, yes, you, uh, you are witnessing me in a program I am brand new to. <laughs> Confused and horrified. Uh, let's just give him full black. We'll do that. We'll give him glowing vision and call it a day. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for that scale. I just could not find it for the life of me. Uh, black mask. Which for which button? There we go. <laughs> it this would probably be a lot better if I wasn't having uh, some like uh, render hiccups. I probably it's probably because I'm have a million things open as well and have like. So I'm, I'm streaming. Oh, I'm assuming not, but am I streaming at 4K? Because if so, uh, that that's not ideal. I want to get deep into it on, but I've only seen the grid. Yeah, I basically hopped on the Udon train as soon as it came out in December and panicked my way uh, into more programming than my um, attempt at a comp sci major ever did. And it's, it's a lot of sit there, do the thing, repeat it, fix it, and then learn what you did wrong. Ah, uh, good. I didn't want to be at 4K rendering. I am now realizing, however, how delayed my stream is uh, simply based on uh, the response time. Uh... uh... Actually, no, I need to just place this over here. Yeah, again, farmer's internet. All right, I think I'm going to call this good for the texturing for now. I may come back to it. Um, let's see, save. Now that I think about it, I hadn't pressed save for a while. So, uh... Good thing I'm doing it now.
Talk smoothness and normal. Uh, hmm. Hold on. Seems I may have uh, missed emissions. Uh, at least you're not streaming at 480 where words are not readable. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is also getting downscaled from a 4K monitor, so even at 1080p, it's there isn't a perfect chance of it being entirely ironed out. Oh, right, I forgot. I Wait, oh, never mind. Uh, some dude did this and uploaded it to YouTube as a tutorial. Yep. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, glass visor, you needed emissions. Oh my god, how long does it take to select a base? There we go. Is there no hex code here? No. Man, I'm glad I haven't had to copy literally any string since the start of this, so I can just keep pasting the same uh, uh, file location. <laughs> hey, I am making a uh, Vroomba, which is a little robot that goes around the ground and is uh, legally distinct from a Roomba, believe me. <laughs> Vroomba. Okay, so I'll just do the antenna real quick. Because the antenna does not need to be fancy. All right, make this 512 is fine. This does not need to be big. All we need is it to be metal and for that to automatically close on its own. All right, smart materials. Load. All right, scroll down, give me that steel. Uh, steel bright. Oh, nope, just steel. There we go. Perfect. That's all. That's everything we need. I'm not even going to save this as uh, a thing. Just going to export. Crap. I exported as that. I got excited. I missed. There we go. There we go. Actually, just redo this. There we go. Just wait until he gets to the antenna. Yeah, maybe I'm a little bit delayed. <laughs> All 
Why is this glowing? Oh, texture seepage. Oh well. Let's uh get this guy in here. All right, let's get some colliders on this guy. Mesh collider. We'll give you convex. There we go. Let's get back here. Let's throw our thing on here. Man, we're back in Unity. Man, I like Unity. <laughs> uh... Copy rigid body components, paste new, copy udon behavior, paste new. Oh wait, I can't do that, can I? Uh, oh wait, I can. I just have to do a quick edit of the blend file. And it's already open. Perfect, convenient. What? There we go. It was rotating uh, the armature as well as the mesh. And the armature was rotating the mesh, so it was rotating the armature and the mesh and the mesh. <laughs> what? Why am I here? Man, I. What is happening here? Okay, so when I have a lot of objects in the scene and I want to export them separately, I try to do export selected. But a lot of times when I move into this, it ignores the fact that this window is here and it still thinks I'm clicking in this scene. So sometimes it just is like, yeah, we're going to deselect the thing that you've selected. <laughs> All right, have I ruined everything? I have partially ruined everything. So that just means I need to try again. All right. I have fixed everything, uh, except maybe the antenna. Where the antenna go? <laughs> Why isn't this antenna exporting? There we go. Christ. It didn't export with the mesh. I mean, uh, armature. Just, just let this happen, please. Freaking blender. All right, there we go. Why isn't that applied? All right, 
I'll just I'll just export it this way. <laughs> All right, didn't work. All right. I don't know why it took Blender so long to allow me to export the antenna. But we got it now. Perfect. All right, let's see if anything immediately goes wrong upon pressing play. Oh, right. Hello! Alright, he's not picking up much speed. So let's see here. This mesh collider is probably expecting something. I'll be honest. Not what I expected. I think I get it though. <laughs> I mean, yes, I, I definitely get it. Um, however, <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna undo a bunch. We'll get our fake Roomba here. Okay. Seven, five. Perfect. The simplest mesh collider of the fake Roomba would be beneficial. Yeah, uh, I'm just using the mesh collider with the cylinder on it. Uh, What had happened earlier was that it looked at the model I was using and decided that it was um, uh, 90 degrees up because of how Blender exports things. So, <laughs> let's see here. All right, everything appears to be working right. Yeah, we got our Vroomba moving around in random positions. I like it. Now let's throw some uh, more complicated geometry in here.
I'm gonna dance around some poles. Wait, don't think about that. Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> it's just dumb enough to be too dumb. <laughs> Can he escape? Oh my god, he did it. <laughs> All right, we're ready for Robo Wars. <laughs> oh god. This makes me this makes me quite happy. All right, let's close some of these background programs. Oh, no, I wasn't going to save that because it's just the metal. Discard. Uh, all right. Let's make you a bit more random range. Actually, is this random ranging every time? Oh, yeah, this is just... Okay, yeah, this is this is mostly getting ignored. Um, so, if rotate timer is okay, so this will have to uh, establish a. Let's just make a uh, uh, actually you don't need to be public anymore. You can be private. Um, actually state is always going to be public. Uh, actually no, state is not public. Is active as public. All right, so we're going to need private float, 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 uh, sleep timer equals two. All right, so sleep timer will be the amount of time it takes uh, for it to hit a wall and then think, oh, I should probably turn because if we make it instant, he looks too smart. Um, so sleep timer time dot delta time. All right, so. How do I want to do this? Oh, yeah. It's easy. All right, we'll just set this to be sleep timer. And if timer equals zero, sleep timer equals that. 
Uh, except these numbers are too big. <laughs> uh, three can be fine. Come back in here. Select this thing for a bit. Should just be as active, I believe. Yep, just as active. Dance, cowboy. Go forth and bring glory. So the maximum time needs to be lowered, and I think the minimum time also needs to be lowered. Uh, so we'll do 0.75f and I'll move this back in his way so we can get to it faster. Compile. Actually, I'll just hit is active to start with. I think the reason I wasn't doing that was because when it hits the ground, it'll detect a collision. I didn't change anything. boy go go forth wow you know what I'm just putting this back <laughs> it was honestly working fine enough the way I had it and this has just made everything funky alright so this Uh, you know how I said I was about to change it back? May have immediately gone back on my decision. <laughs> Alright, do it, do it, compile. Oh wow, it's 8 o'clock. Supper was a while ago.
go, my minion. Perfect. Hmm. All I need for him to do is prove in one of these rotations that every rotation is not 180. That one was 190, so... <laughs> All right, I think what I actually need to do is drop the rotate timer just a little bit. If I put it at 3.5, that should make its rotation a bit. Actually, no, let's do three. Nope, 3.5, but, oh, crap. But for doing that, this will have to go between something else. Which will drop down the minimum amount of time for the rotate. Ah, screw it. It was fine at 4. We're doing it. We're doing it live! Uh, I get also... He's a big boy. <laughs> I think he can... I feel like... Here, sleep timer. Let's set you public so that we can see what you're doing. Wait, we're starting it at a, we're starting with it at two, but every time we assign it, it goes between three F and four F. So it's dumb to start at two. Everything's <laughs> fine. Stay calm. <laughs> oh god. Do it. Compile. Do it. Do it. Faster. <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. Perfect. Yeah, he's a bit dumb. <laughs> All right. Yep, he can manage. He's got this. Set this back to private. Save. Oh, can compile. All right, let's get you an animator. 
Uh, all right. So you little Vroomba, Vroomba Tenna, uh, have clothes. Listen up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why did that default import with not <laughs> no armature? <laughs> That's not how that works. Though... Yeah. Okay, so this animator doesn't need to exist. Uh, we need to animate on the Brubo Tenna itself. Close. So essentially the plan right now is he'll be off by default and to turn him on you have to pick him up and click him Now I need open an inverse of that. Got our animator. This is not our animator. That is. <laughs> Get that camera here so we can see how this works. See if we got enough smoothing. Remember animations ramp in the middle, so we need to select all points and make them linear. Uh, I was debating of whether or not I wanted them to like. Oh, whoops. Uh, if I wanted them to be like really strict movements or like smoothly kind of like slide into their place. Um. There we go, we got loop off. Is active, we'll leave you off for now. All we want to do is see the antenna movements. I 
Here, let's actually try linear on that. Okay, yeah. Uh, duplicate this one in the middle. And also make these clamps or whatever. Spread them out a bit. I want to. I want it to seem like it's snapping to the center one and then snapping to the next one, because uh, otherwise, it just looks like the whole thing's getting shorter. There we go. Maybe that's a bit long on it. Uh, Here. Yeah, that's better. Perfect. All right, now let's get some audio for this guy. Um, first, I'm just going to do uh, some effects for the antenna. Uh, the clicking of open and closing. Uh, there we go. Max distance. Uh, 20 sounds good. There we go. Move a bit more bend. Spatial audio source. Five. 20. And use audio curve. If I like no. All right, so let's give this guy some audio. Public audio clip. Uh, array. Antenna sounds. So we're also going to set this guy to be pickup. So uh, on pickup, there we go. On pickup is down, is active. Not equal is that? I there we go. I uh, gotta get this guy an animator. Private animator. Anim. Just copy this. Do the same thing. Bring this down. Nm dot set bool active. I think I named it. Uh, yeah, just active. Active, and we set that to is active. Play, wait, 
if is active. Uh, oh, I haven't got the audio source yet. Private audio source S and D. SMD dot play. Uh, actually, we'll set this to be clip equals antenna sounds zero. Oh, wait, no, this is an equals thing. SMD dot play. And before this, we'll do S and D stop. So if someone's clicking it, uh, spamming it, it won't just play the same thing over and over and loop all the sounds. Uh, la, 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 la. Sound stop. Perfect. Uh, one thing you can actually do here is I'll put this ahead and I'll put this one after because I'll be using it in both of these we'll set this to be one so we're gonna have two sounds in our antenna sounds array uh, one for opening the antenna and another for closing it so for that I'm actually just gonna duplicate some audio I saved a while back from my third person camera uh, which is a bunch of audio I recorded from a uh, camera I was loaned for college. Uh, third person camera, audio, let's see here. Ooh, there we go. Ratchet. Um... This is within which of my hundred folders? Here we go. Vroomba. Ratchet and Ratchet Long. Set this to be two. Uh, let's see, Ratchet. Uh, yeah, we'll have that in that order. Uh, only source, yep. Uh, get component in children. And animator also has to get in children. Let's just actually set this to be a pickup disallow theft. Uh, yeah, let's sync position. Um, better than everyone watching a Roomba boom around. All right. Uh, I haven't saved the prefab of it yet, so might as well. Uh, oh, I know what's going on. Uh, this changing here is not changing anything. So I'm actually going to uh, boot up VRChat uh, because I have it set to do on pickup.
Oh my god, I just realized that this isn't like a caged in area that the default jump height can't get you over. Well, I guess we just have to hope that the VRC world object was placed within this cage. <laughs> And yeah, it was. It's actually right on top of the Roomba. Hi, I'm actually gonna pause the music since we're adding audio. Oh, I have it. Uh, I don't have auto hold on, and pickup use down can only be used during auto hold. Take two. Alright, I got an email saying that uh, Bassam Production has uh, subscribed to YouTube. I do not know if you are watching, but hey, welcome. That's not right. Alright, pick up use down is not doing what I want. It in fact uh, did none of these, which begs the question, did it work? <laughs> Actually, quick question, if I remove the sphere object does this still swivel around right? Here. I just realized I put my phone down. My phone's what I'm using for chat. Have fun. Godspeed on your Roomba. Hey, we'll see you. Sorry if I'm too late on that one. Nope. Alright. He appears to be rotating perfectly. Uh, without the sphere. So I will actually remove the sphere from this and then apply this prefab.
Hmm. Yeah, on pickup use down is just not happening. And I use the autofill, so. Maybe the autofill just didn't work. Public virtual void. Because it's a virtual reality. I'm running low on water, and my water is what's keeping me talking. <laughs> Good thing this is almost done. <laughs> All right. Compile this. Yeah, everything's right. Anything weird? Nope. Force compile again. Compile everything, because I trust literally nothing uh automatic light mapping enabled. wait automatic light ma light mapping is enabled dear god <laughs> when'd that happen man if i let my hair fall in front of my eyes my uh <laughs> My virtual character tracking just stops. <laughs> uh, let's see if I do this. Yep, it just like freezes. <laughs> this is the only way you can tell I have a face is by detecting eyes. Do a 180. <laughs> All right, hold on. I, I may have to. Is my audio really quiet or? There we go. All right. Uh, all right, I will lower the amount that he can rotate. I will uh, add in sound effects for him moving. And I will add in sound effects for collision, which will be nice. Uh, let's just put this to six, three, six. Just so we have that handled. Uh, you. I don't know how many times just today I've gone to place my hand on my keyboard somewhere and it's just like in the wrong position and half of what I type is just horrible yeah so using public virtual void is apparently the only way to make uh, on pickup use down actually function uh, yeah so I'll save this uh, I'll launch this up and then I will uh, drop stream and start recording some audio for this guy using like I don't know a vacuum is it just me or is the bot doing the same rotations um, it is doing 
it's doing more of the same rotations than I would like it to. So I'm trying to stretch out the random rotations that it can do. Um, but it also was doing like only 180s, which isn't what it was supposed to do. So. All right, now it's and by 180s, I actually meant... What is... You are dumb. <laughs> okay, I see the problem. So, rotate timer is three. All right, let's double check this edit. Yeah, 360. I'm not great at what you might call um, numbers. Uh. <laughs> Vroom button. Let me turn on your button. Vroom button. Go hit the wall. Wait a minute. I just thought of something. I'll have a private bool uh, rotate direction. If it's false, it will go left. If it's true, it will go right. And on collision enter, Uh, I need to get the dot product between uh, this object and the surface it's colliding with. Unity dot product. Uh, dot product left or right. There we go. Okay, so first I will start with printing some vector three information so that, oh, this is still open. Oh, don't need that. Uh, Debug dot log tramp uh, vector three dot uh, 
transform dot forward other dot transform dot position. All right, so theoretically, I, I'm not too familiar with dot products, but I had them explained to me the other day. Um, essentially, it gets the angle of attack when you hit something. And I'm going to use this to determine whether or not it should turn left or right to evade the other thing. Because sometimes this thing will get stuck in not funny ways. And if it was getting stuck in funny ways, I would 100% leave it. Um, however, it'll just kind of like slide against the wall sometimes if it can't uh, do a minimum turn. It's not debug logging. Here we go. All right, so that gave us a two. That gave us a two. Okay, maybe I don't need to. Here, let's do this. I'm just gonna keep modifying these until I get a clear difference between something that's on the right or left, and then I'll do a check for that clear difference. So it was on the left and we got seven. So on the right and we got 10. Wait a minute. All right, so now we're detecting collision contact points instead of its like actual origin. All right, so that got us 7.2. This gets us 10. This gets us 3. Hmm. I'm seeing no consistency in any of this, and I don't know how to take this information. So I'm definitely doing this wrong. Uh, I have a friend that does a lot of dot products. Um, I will perhaps ask him. Uh, 15, Jesus Christ. Actually, what does this say for dot? Dot product is the float value equal to the magnitudes of two vectors multiplied together and then multiplied by the cosine of the angle. What is this? <laughs> For normalized vectors, dot returns 1 if they are in the exact position, minus 1 if they point in completely opposite directions, and 0 if the vectors are perpendicular. 
Okay, should I be using normalized? I'm dumb. You ever just try to code something and think, wow, this looks really stupid. <laughs> Probably because it is. It doesn't work. Uh, I don't even know how you would normalize that. All right. I have to say forward, transform direction. Okay, maybe I can reinterpret this information to instead transform position all right this works my friend is going to be very happy because he has formed a, some sort of sick obsession with dot products oh something didn't work didn't capture namespace what is happening here spinning cubes how on earth did I break spinning cubes? Surely that didn't happen. All right. <laughs> Okay, invalid namespace. System dot exception did not capture valid namespace. Did I get a system in here? invocation oh can I just not use print all right okay if 
fine by me. Seems nothing broke. All right. Let's go. <gasps> oh my god, it's working. It's actually working. It's doing left and right collision detection. Uh, don't collapse. All right. Left, left, left. Oh my god. Yes! Wait, no, that said left. And that said right. Uh, okay, so it's... Hmm. Ooh, got excited there. All right, let's see here. Hmm. If vector three dot transform dot transform direct. What the f Why is this not just? This is not transform up. What idiot made this? Who is it that did the? Who is it that made all of the example scripts on Unity? All right, this probably isn't going to fix it. I think what the issue is, is that, uh, here, let me show you. If this collides like this, uh, it, it'll think, oh no, it's to the left. To the right. Wait, is this working just in reverse? No, because that was to the left. All right, this isn't giving me what I thought it would. Um, all right. I am going to call it for there for the stream and actually get some food because I am now three hours late for supper. <laughs> um, glad to have you guys around. Uh, uh, I think, yeah, that'll be it for what I do tonight. Um, I'll play around with this a bit to get the dot product fixed um, when I figure out how it works more. Um, and I will post a video of the completed thing on Twitter. Um, I'll also have it available probably on Booth and most certainly on my Patreon. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Glad to have you around. And I'll see you around. Uh, I wish to have a stream There we go. See ya.